use Taylor's estimate to bound the error in the previous approximation of the square root of 95. Now remember last time we approximated the square root of 95 using a second order Taylor polynomial with f of x equals the square root of x and c equals 100. Now let's use the estimate. The estimate says that the error will stay uh, within a specific range of values right here. Specifically it stays within plus or minus m3 because it was a second order estimate over 3 factorial times a minus c to the third power. And so in this case that's plus or minus m3, 3 factorial is 6, a is the value we approximated, 95, and c is the center, 100, this to the third power. And so if we clean that up one more time, we get plus or minus m3 over 6 times, that's 5 to the third power, which is 125. So we have plus or minus 125 over 6 times m3. And now we've got to focus on the m3, which is the tricky part. Remember, the definition is that m3 is the maximum value of the absolute value, or maximum value of plus or minus, the third derivative of the function over the interval between the center and the point of approximation. So over the interval from 95 to 100. So first thing we gotta do is get a hold of that uh, uh, third derivative. So f was the square root of x, f prime was 1 half x to the minus 1 half, f double prime was negative 1 fourth x to the minus 3 halves. This we did last time. Here's our next derivative, our third derivative. The third derivative is positive 3 eighths times x to the minus 5 halves. So now we need to plot this function over the interval from 95 to 100. This is actually pretty easy to plot right here. It has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, and then it's just decreasing from then on out. So this is the basic graph at 95 and 100 are marked right here. So this is the function. This is the high point on that stretch right there. And so this value right here is m3, the highest point of the function on that interval. So m3 is the tr uh, third derivative evaluated at the point 95. That would be 3 eighths times 95 to the minus 5 halves power. Uh, it's worth noting, though, that the square root of 95 is what we're trying to approximate at the beginning. So this is a bad uh, estimate right here. However, we can kind of overestimate this a little bit. Notice that 81. Uh, at 81, the third derivative is higher, and so our m3 is smaller than 3 eighths times 81 to the minus 5 halves power. But I can take a square root of 81 to get 9, so this is 3 eighths, uh, 1 over 9 to the fifth power. Now if we bust that out on the calculator, that would be 3 eighths times 1 over uh, the value 59049. And so if we multiply everything through, we're going to get 3 over uh, 8 times 59,049 is 472,392, and that's our overestimate for M3. We plug that in over here, and we have a revised estimate of being within plus or minus 125 sixths times 3 over 472,392. That's our estimate. Uh, we can clean this up a little bit right here and, and be able to say that our error is within plus or minus um, 125 over 6 times 3 over 472392. And if we cancel, 3 goes in there twice. Uh, and I don't think there's any other cancellations. We're just going to get 125 over doubling the bottom. We'll get 944784. And there's our estimate right there. By the way, if you punch it into a calculator, you get that this is accurate to then about plus or minus 0.000. 1333. And there's our estimate.